set goals, right? (laughs) Like I know that 2020 was really hard, but before the year even started, I had set so many goals. I was so ambitious. And then everything changed. The whole world changed. So I was a little hesitant to create any goals this year. I don't know if you feel the same, but I did. I created some goals and I wanted to share them with you today. So 2021 reading, writing, and writing business goals. Here we go. Okay. So first I want to say that I've split this video up into three different sections. So I wanted to talk about reading goals, writing goals, and writing business goals. So reading goals, I wanted to share with you what I plan to do when it comes to reading. So 2020 was a little dismal when it came to reading, to focusing, to getting through anything. I had a goal to read, I think like 50 books. And I think I read like 10 at the most. There's a couple that I never added to my Goodreads. So I really did not squash that goal. I did not do very well at all, but that's okay. We're changing things up. This year I am doing things a little differently. So instead of me focusing on a Goodreads goal at the moment, I decided to focus on a challenge. Books and Lala, she's one of my favorite booktubers. She does every year a Buzz Read Wordathon. And so I decided that I wanted to take part of it. So I wanted to do it. So this year I am setting the goal to read the Buzz Word. Uh, of the month. So each month is a different word. You find a title that has that word in it, and then you read that book. You can actually read many books or multiple books if you want, but I'm focusing on just one book a month. So for instance, in January, the word was dream, dreamer, dreaming, and you just choose a title with that word in it. I'll leave information in the box below so you can go and look and see if you want to do this in future months. Maybe you just want to do this one month out of the whole year. That's okay too. You can do it really however you want. The only stipulation is to use a book with the title that has the buzzword of the month. That's really the only stipulation. So If you want to join or if you want to do it just one month, that's awesome. So my goal was to do this once a month, read one book that has the buzzword in it, and I'm really focusing the entire month on that book. I am okay if it takes longer (laughs) because already I'm into February and I have not completed my first book of the year. But that's okay because the first two weeks of January, I didn't read anything. So I started and I'm about halfway through with my first book. I can't wait to finish that up and then start the book for this month. So I will, as another part of my goal, decide to take it easy, to not put any pressure on myself, to make sure I feel good about reading rather than feeling like pressured or guilty or like I'm not reading enough. I don't want to have any of that this year because I did that to myself last year and it just didn't do any good. So this year, my focus is to just be happy to be reading at all and to kind of have fun with it. So that in a nutshell is my reading goal for 2021.
So the second category is my writing goal or my writing goals. So I wanted to chat a little bit about what I hope to achieve with my writing this year. So this year will be the year that I'm published. I have just wrapped up with my editor with my first episode of a story that is going to be over several episodes that I want to share with the world. Now this story, each episode equates to about half of a finished novel. So the first episode is part of one complete novel. So when you have two episodes together, you'll have like a full completed story, a full completed character arc. And I decided to do it this way because of publishing. I'm indie publishing and I wanted to give myself the time to get things done, first of all. So write everything, edit everything and do the whole marketing stuff. So I decided to do it in that way. So that way it's easier for me, but also because it costs money, I feel like this is easier for me in terms of how much money I'm shelling out and when I'm shelling out the money for each book. So right now I'm focused on episode one. I've completed the editing. I have completed purchasing everything I need for the cover. I just have to get um, some feedback on the cover. And then once that's done, I get to share that with the world. So it should be coming out any day now. So if you follow me on Instagram, you can see what the cover looks like. But basically I am working on this story. It's a YA fantasy and I am hoping to have episode one and two out in ebook and paperback form. And then in the summer, I hope to release a hard bound version as well. I'm thinking I'm not 100% sure about that at all, but I do want to do a combined version where it's one complete novel because as I go through school for my MFA in creative writing, both episodes are a part of one novel. So I am writing this in a way that allows me to share a complete character arc, arc but I'm actually publishing it in two separate pieces, which might seem confusing. I do hope to explain more in the future in future videos. So just know that I plan to in the following months, I hope to release a episode one in ebook and paperback version, an episode two in ebook and paperback, an ebook and paperback, and then I want to release a version of them both combined, either in paperback or hardback, and that will lead me up till June. So all of this will be taking place over the next several months. While I'm doing that, I'm working on the next episodes, but I hope to take a break from that in the fall. I want to focus on a middle grade story that I had an idea for. I've never tried my hand at middle grade before, and I kind of am excited. I have friends who've asked me if my current book is okay for kids who are a lot younger, and I just see that it could be something fun to do. So I decided that I'm going to start doing that. So right now I'm just brainstorming for that. And then I'll probably start releasing episode three and episode four of my current story. So as you can see with my writing, there's a lot going on, a lot of things that I want to accomplish. I'm really trying to get all of this done. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of hard work, but it's really good. I really love it. I just got through the editing with my lovely editor and I am so excited about episode one and I can't wait to release it soon. So it's just a really exciting time in my life as a writer, and I can't wait to share more with you in the coming weeks. But my goals are basically just to stay on track with these ambitions and goals that I have. The other thing that's happening this year is that I am completing, hopefully, my MFA. 
I'm in my thesis three class right now. I have just a few more days of that. And then I have two classes left to complete. And that's for my certification to be able to teach writing at the university level. So, so that is a part of my degree and something that I hope to accomplish, but I have to see how funds go in terms of paying for those classes um, to make sure that I can afford them. <laughs> so um, I have to like kind of finagle things around a little bit to be able to pay for those. But then once that's done, I will have my MFA in creative writing. Then the last part, the last category of my goals is the writing business or my business to help support and fund these things I'm doing as a writer and my life. So I really have thought about what I want to do. I could do so many things because I've had a business and I've run a business for so long. I could help authors in so many ways, but I wanted to start by creating videos for YouTube. I love YouTube. It's a creative outlet for me. It is something that I really enjoy doing. I wanted to do it all last year, but I just couldn't bring myself to do it. I was just trying to figure out what I wanted to do beyond, you know, 2020. <laughs> so I decided that this year I'm really going to do YouTube. It's like the main thing that I hope to accomplish with my business. So my goal is to create about three videos a month. If I can do that, then I'll be good. If I can do more then great. Um, but I just plan to make at least three videos per month. And then the other thing I hope to do is I hope to have a Patreon. So I've started a Patreon, um, basically like I have the tiers and I've actually like written up some stuff and put some stuff on there. So I've like tried it out, but I haven't actually promoted it at all because I've never been sure about what I want the tiers to look like. So I might change that up a little bit in the long run, but right now I'm focused on YouTube first. And then once I have YouTube going, then I'm going to focus on Patreon and try to really build that up. So those are my goals with my business besides, you know, releasing books. So so there you have it. Those are my goals for 2021. I would love to hear your goals, what you hope to accomplish with your writing, with your reading in the comment section below. Maybe just share the goal that you're most excited about. And then I hope if you enjoyed this video, you'll hit the like button and you'll subscribe. I would love to have you stick around so we can get to know one another and I will see you in the next video.